France is sending an urgent mission request. Local government forces have reported a coordinated alien attack in a densely populated neighborhood. They're counting on us to secure the area. Let's do a nice intro for the VOD channel. Hello, Beagle Rush VODs. This video is just for you. This wasn't a stream video. This is just for you. It's I can't do it. I'm joking. I'm lying to you. This is the Twitch stream. We clown in this mf -er. I'm not going to swear, though, because it'll ruin Jeff's YouTube VOD. Anyway, here we go. It's just for you. Everything that happens in this mission is just for you, Beagle Rush VOD viewers. They can see chat. I just put the chat there so they'd feel at home. Alright. Everyone in chat is just a sock puppet. It's not real. Oh god, no, wait. Hang on, I gotta change the number. Zero out of twelve. Uh, the kitchen is open. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Anchored on Autobot got you again. <laughs> Guy, strike one is cleared to engage. Okay. No motion tracker again. That's alright. Nine health Danfall will get us through this, I think. New 24 donation from Capitan Quick Dog. Oops. All sick toads. Thanks so much. That's the mission. The mission is 12 sick toads. Just a la fucking cart. What a savage. What an absolute fucking animal. Just walks into your restaurant and just says, yeah. Can I have 50 cheeseburgers, please? <laughs> what an absolute fucking animal. Impressive. 12 sectoids. You got it, buddy. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, get positioned, because they're coming. It's been a while, hasn't it, since we've had one of these kinds of missions. Go on, let's get into position. You know what's great? If I can get to this position without getting stonewalled by aliens too much, this is like the sectoid killing ladder. This is the ladder that kills sectoids. So all I gotta do is just get here and like, we're good. Dragomai says, you're all mocking him, but I know you like chicken wings. Don't lie, chat. I have ordered like... I think 48 is the most nuggets I've ordered in one go. I've ordered like two big packs. I've never ordered three. I've never ordered like 72 nuggets. I've never had that kind of purity of ambition. Who's going first? You might say I'm a coward. Yeah, you'd probably be right. After Brogdell says, these 12 sectors will be adequate sustenance for the Doctor Who marathon. I don't like that. I don't like knowing that there's a person who is watching Doctor Who. That's it. That's the bit. No, just watching Doctor Who while eating 12 sectoids. That's the bit that really pushes it over for me as well. Bjorn says, Beagle, I can tell you're a coward by the way you play. Bjorn, you... S to be fair though, Bjorn, on your hand, you said you're the guy in armor who just stands in the open overwatching going like, I wonder what's happening. I feel like I'm at least living longer. Okay, I want to get you up to here. I'm rolling. We're gonna get the LMG, I think, to where? Maybe this spot? I think the sniper should be there, actually. The sniper. LMG, loss is a bit dicky here. Sniper can be back here. And you can get lost, but you can also just get it fucked. I think Sniper has to be there for the good shots. LMG probably has to be here. I just want to move there till I know it's safe. La Spaniel. You come over Get here. Us. Subject says, hot damn, you can remember things. V only certain things. Don't, don't, don't get excited. Not a lot. Moving out. Covering now. I feel commander. <laughs> Tinnaman guy says rogue tech. Personally, would recommend rogue tech because it's really buggy. Yeah, I don't like rogue tech. I agree with you. Um, okay, it's time to add 12 sectoids. And don't add them to invalid tiles or they'll get spawned directly on top of me. There's two map borders. Oh shit. 
Okay, 12 sectoids. One. Two. Three. Four. That's four. I gotta get room for them. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. There you go. Twelve sectoids. Time to take my position here. And I am a big brave baby, so I'm gonna move up to here. There won't be an activation, don't worry. Yes! There's no activations here. LMG can come here. Danfo, we're gonna get you on Overwatch in a second. Jane Doe, check left, we're good. Jane Doe, come back. Sniper, move up. Cara Vermalio says, Biggs, why are you torturing yourself like this? Well, one, money, yeah, but also two, I think it's great. I think I'm gonna become the strongest X-Con player of all time like this. Moving out. Who's stronger? Some idiot who can beat Long War, like, I don't know, without deaths or something? I don't have anyone in mind. Or, you know, a person who can beat Long War with twice as many aliens in every mission. And, you know, support their family financially while they do it. I, I have an answer in mind. Um, now. But I'm not gonna say it. That's up for you guys to decide. I'm on the move. I'm gonna become too powerful. I'm gonna become so good at this game. From training like this. It's just... Everything in life is like the hyperbolic time chamber. That Vegeta uses, really. I've never watched Dragon Ball Z, not a single episode. I'm gonna go back to play normal long run. I'm gonna be like, this shit is so easy. Where's the 30 aliens in every abduction? Okay, so now we wanna get Overwatch in place here. Am I crazy or is Lost fucked? I just can't see because of elevation, but I can see that there. I know, I use this, I use these spots all the time. These spots are very, they're very good spots. They're my favorite spots. So now the Rapid Reactor comes here. Awesome, awesome thing is that there's no drones to be bought, so that's great. I can just kill Sectoids here. We're just gonna sit here though for like, pick some good topics, get some popcorn. We're gonna sit here for about 20 minutes over watching Sectoids though, I, I will admit that. That's what's about to happen. I'm rolling. Alistar says, if you're the best XCOM player, why haven't you uploaded any of your runs to speedrun.com? Uh, my balls are... Sometimes... <laughs> I had nowhere to go with that! Alright. <laughs> as a little treat to myself, I decided, as I was reading your comment, I was just gonna s just say whatever came to my mind as a random, unhinged excuse. As soon as I said balls, I was done. I had nowhere to go with that. All I could think of was our Harry, but I was like, that's just filthy, Beagle. You, that's not even funny. You can't say that. Shrinking! I should have gone shrinking. My balls are shrinking and it disqualified me from speedruns.com. That's my excuse. Dude, your mom watches the stream very, very rarely. I need my balls shrink. <laughs> oh, it's great conversation like that. It's going to keep us going for the next 20 minutes of Overwatch. This set just walks up and instantly kills Danfall. No! I'll get him next time. No, Benny. My mother has never asked me that. Please don't succeed. Yeah! Inconon says, Sad Beagle missed the one day when Nudity was allowed on Twitch. Why would I do that, though? Like... Why would I want to be naked in front of any of you? What kind of logic are you going off? Money? You you would not pay me to be naked in front of you. Like, maybe one of you. you you'll be sad. You'll be like, you're like, oh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna strip for money and someone will be like, I'll give you two dollars. 
I'd, I'd take like one piece of clothing off, sadly, and then someone would be like, I'll pay you 10 bucks to put it back on. People would be so mean to me. Uh, also, the sectoids are bullying me. I was getting ready to enjoy them all just dying as they ran up the ladder. Um, what the fuck is this? This is the most coordinated sectoid push I've ever seen. This is the power of 12 sectoids at once. I've never seen them be this coordinated on this goddamn map. They usually just come up one at a time and die. This is terrible. And I have no rocket to, ex to, to exploit this. I have no rocket! This is the fucking worst! You kidding me? Yeah, they have increased their brain power. These are mega brain force sectoids. I gotta kill this one so I can fall back and rapid react them again. I gotta break loss, you know what I'm saying? I know you know what I'm saying. Kill the one on the door with your steady aim shot. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Kill that one. Okay. Not bad. One, two, I gotta do my dice. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Now you don't want to sit here, obviously, with the rapid reactor. You'd rather go to the half cover and Overwatch. One for breaking loss. Two, just you know, don't want to get fucked. So yeah, probably I come back to here now in Overwatch. They probably won't run through there though. So it's a questionable use to do that anyway. But if they don't run through there, then you're not exposed. I guess they could run to here to the full cover and shoot me. But like, what position are you even Overwatching there? They're not gonna like dash to here, surely. I guess you just like get off the line now and let them push up and then grenade them. So bring around Jane Doe and get ready for grenades. Big grenade gaming time. And I'll bring you around to here, and I'll overwatch of you, like, next turn. Location confirmed. This turn, I can overwatch of you as well. Covering now. <laughs> Play Tiger says, think outside the box, Beagle. We pay you money if you put clothes on again, no one wants to see you naked. Okay, so with the rules back, when, when Twitch puts the nudity rules back on, I will start every single stream naked. And will only put clothes on when given money. Interesting business model. Rising Grand Gamers, back here for another day of XCOM. I say buck naked. Lily white skin. <laughs> Do it like a subathon, you buy X minutes of clothing. Oh, okay. The shirt only goes back on for five minutes, of course. Don't even bother with the webcam, just the idea is enough. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right. I could do it with VTubers, that's true. I, I could just use the VTuber avatars. Great point. Nice shot. That's one down. The other one's not happy, no doubt. I might even be able to grenade them. But I only know for sure if I was to run back there. I could break loss again here. I could fall the gunner back. But then I fall the gunner back. But then I've broken loss at least. Probably the better thing to do is just get the rapid reactor over here already. Okay. Headed there now. If I break loss, the rapid reactor is more effective. Oh no, you can be seen from there, shit. So I gotta shoot you anyway. I gotta miss you anyway. What does the flashing shield mean? Does that mean there's a fucker there? I think it means there's a fucker there. I cannot quite grenade them. I'm probably gonna overwatch a view to stop more of them coming at me. Call it a 
the day. If I more money, I gotta install that lethal company mod I saw, that switch integration where you can spend bits to uh, add monsters and do shit to the game. There's like a fucking command for like half the company's money, it's terrible. I feel like turn that one off. I wouldn't mind letting you guys like buy like fucking monsters and shit, that'd be funny. I should've just fallen you back, I think, I got greedy. Even one mind merge checked out is a problem. I have medkits though, I can just heal you. This is actually not that bad. And now I can just grenade you. Which I think is very fair and valid here. See ya! Would not want to be ya! And the whole time I can keep sniping. It's not so bad. Taking one damage to a gunner and having their mind, oh, have a little bit of brain damage temporarily. It's a small price to pay. Very small price to pay, it's fine. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Got it covered. Man, they're really showing me when you don't blow this cover up, though. It's not the killing fields I expected it to be. If I wasn't much of a coward, I could have reacted on the car, I guess. But I had a position on him, I just missed my first shot. You could have killed three sectoids that round, Danfall, you just didn't. Loot bug lover 16 damage hit by 16 loot bugs. There's shotguns now, and there's also a mod that makes the loot bugs use the items they pick up. So a loot bug could technically pick up a boombox and turn it on, or technically pick up a rocket launcher and shoot it. Anything could happen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they're running. Get them. Get their ass. Neutralized. Down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I hope our one customer for the mission is enjoying themselves. Mine merge over here, which means we can deal some damage. Perish. Toyota. They're getting a little bit big for their balls right now. Can I get a AP on you? Ooh, just barely. We got grenades, let's use them. Not bad. I can finish ya. Hey, fuck you! There's no drones this mission, so I don't care. Eat grenade. Six sectoids left. We've killed half of them. We're doing good, you know? That means we're doing good. I think I need to fall you back because you're just gonna get mind bullied now. Should probably like fall you back to here. As you can see, it's actually not a bad position anyway. You wouldn't think it, but you can see. So I guess you gotta imagine they're standing up. I, you can just like just barely see them. The game doesn't account for how small sectoids are, you know. Alright. Your will is 43, that's pretty good. I'll I'll take that. I'm on it. I'll just overwatch you from here, I'll do it. Moving and I'll just bring you to here team. and I'll just shoot someone. I don't give a fuck, watch me go. Alright, I should have given a little bit of a fuck. Couldn't they be drones of regular pods? Yeah, but they can't be like... There's no flanking, so it can't be like 6, 12 drones at once, and it can't be drones on my flank, so it's not so bad. I think. What is your- Oh, nice, nice, nice. I was gonna say side chance against a 44 wheel person. Doesn't matter. Dead. Too good, clearly, to try us. That's good. High will. Very good. Uh, what? What?! Oh yeah, cool. We're just doing, like, squad site mind fray now. No, that's sick. Whatever you want, really. I mean, rules are just made up anyway. Go on. 
Have fun. But Beagle was not having fun. Uh, okay, five left. I gotta back you off now because your brain's all fucked up. So in the same way, you should be able to get it from back here, I think. Yeah, you're fine. Should, so next time we can just start from these positions to begin with, I think. You've already gotten over your brain problems, that's so cool. Um, we know we can leave you there and it's fine. I'm gonna shoot you because you're gonna keep mind motion, so you're free. Free to shoot. If my recent lesson fine. last weekend and how to exploit sectoids is gonna hold, everything should be good. I kinda wanna just shoot you, kinda wanna suppress you though, so that the rapid reactor is ultra safe. So let's suppress you. Overwatch, get more freebies. The grenadiers remain in position. You're gonna mind merge again, so I can just keep shooting you as long as you don't move around. And moving around is not a great idea for you guys because of the overwatch. We got that on you. You do not want to mind, mind attack a 44 bill person. Ah! Everything perfect except the miss. They're advancing, but that does make them grenadable. I need to reload you. Or just grenade you. Have you earned this death, little sectoid? You might have. Was there one around here? Yeah, there's one here too, I think, still. Congratulations, charging the frontline, sectoid. Are you ready for the kind of death you've earned? Frag out. Very ready. I've seen readier. I think that's gonna be like almost out of grenades. That's okay. We're whittling them down pretty good here, though. Yeah, come back here. You might be able to save it. Nope. We will be destroying you today. Out of grenades not ideal, but down the fort back insectoids is good. So I'm happy to keep spamming them. To the point that I probably just overwatch here again, because in a mind merger, duh, 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 even on one shot, I'll just go for the overwatch here, I think. While keeping you suppressed, next turn I can reload. But especially out of grenades, I want to make sure no one no one advances on me here, you know? Don't want to let them push. One, two, three, and the other one's over here. Get him! Get him! Ah! Lucky that didn't roll higher, that could have been a kill. Don't panic! Oh shit! Oh, you're fine. You're fine, no sweat of Roonies. Sniper! Creeper! Oh man. They're very annoyingly not dead though. I'm just gonna shoot them now, I think. Damn it! Yes! All of those words. Yes, I agree. Okay. Come here, Jane Doe. Ah! No, it's fine. That's normal. Everything is fine. Just hold the line while we reload and shit. Like we're gonna back you off and heal or reload here. You just gotta back off. So you back off. 
Aye, aye, Commander. Maybe even smoke here to get through this hardest part. On the move. Back off and reload you. You can come over for a second. Keep the fire going, not accomplishing yeah, anything, anything of it there, unfortunately. Rock and roll. Reload. Do I want to smoke here? I feel like it's not time yet. Reload. Reloaded. That one's still there doing nothing, that's fine. Gonna get the sniper and the LMG back uh, loaded up and keep firing. Ballsy little sector over here, making their moves. Oh, and this one too up to the full cover. And now this one comes! Oh, now this is the scary one! Whoa! We're okay. Because they can see the LMG. And that is not okay. Kind of lucky they went for Jane though because of proximity, I think. Now I would say smoke for this one is kind of needed. Hmm. This shouldn't be seen, right? No, it is. That tile's seen, so you got to be careful because you might get Overwatch doing that. Where can I move to? Nowhere. That's all fucked. I need to get the Overwatcher back on here. I might need to just reload here. And hope you continue to want the one next to you. Or do I come over here and overwatch these two so they can't advance on the left anymore? Possibly. And then smoke you, that might be the way. It's just that Raptor Boggle's in the way. I think if I go to here it's okay, but then you can't smoke. Mm, how awkward. It's the fact that you can see this tile is making this really awkward. You just can't smoke this turn, I guess. Maybe hunker this turn. Play to the stream, am I dead yet? Says Dan Fall. No, 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 you're not dead yet. In fact, you're uh, on the line doing things. I'm on it, Commander. Dan Fall's gonna come to here and Overwatch so they can't advance right. anymore, which means the eyes. sniper can reload and get ready to kill more. You're probably gonna have to hunker while you also watch to make sure this one doesn't move up. And then you can reload. But then you shoot them. Not ideal. You could move to cover and heal, but that doesn't really solve any problems. Unless you can shoot them through here, maybe. Maybe, let's find out. If I bring you to here, what can you do? No targets, fuck. Still, it means you can hunker. Not my favorite move here. Not the worst, I think. There is plenty of Overwatch to not want to, to make that to not want to just like run up and flank Jane Doe. They don't want to advance. But mine for and Jane Doe, which makes sense given the circumstances. But no panic, so it's kind of okay. Jane Doe is pinned there. It's not good. Sniper's back online, so the sniper needs to do something cool, I think. We've got five shots. If we can just survive long enough, those cool things will happen. Eventually. Now, is this position exposed? No, it isn't. So that's great. So if I bring the gunner over here, now next turn I can get on you. I can even heal myself this turn if I'm really scared. 
Uh, I've got a lot of med kits, so yeah, probably. Kill myself. So Jano just has to survive another turn like that. Which I think Jano can do. Even more if I smoke. Everything by the numbers. Three, five, seven, seven. Three, five, seven, seven. But then they might run to that position and flank them. Probably better than not. Or just like smoke you. Smoke doesn't inflict mind bullets. No, I know. I know it doesn't. I get, it's just like if they get flanked, it wouldn't be good. But they might use the smoke to then flank, so it's probably better to just keep hunkering and overwatching. And they have to like change their tactics. Either they have to stop overwatching, or they have to mind fray less and less each turn. Now, if Jano gets panicked, then we have to like think about smoking them. More likely, they're, they're just going to try to like mind fray Jano to death. But so far, they've only hit one. Good miss. Yeah, the panic's not good, especially because they have my spotter for this one that I want to snipe. Now they have to be smoked. Fuck you. Now I need a spotter to walk up. I need you to walk up. Well, no, I need you to smoke. Actually. What can I do about this? Oh, you might not overwatch over to here, so one overwatcher can cover everyone. And at the same time... What are we going to do about this fucker? I could do like a crazy smoke move, but I don't think it's a good idea. I could smoke this spot and run to it. I have to smoke you though, in general. I need eyes on you. You come over here, because then you can see all of them, and you can uh, you can cover all of them. You run up, so that we can see the one at the back. Now I can snipe. I still did it wrong, I just realized. I was meant to move you up. I did this fucking wrong, but I'm going to suppress you so it doesn't make too much difference. I did do it fucking wrong, though. So I need to suppress you every way. That means you come back now. That's affirmative. You shoot or reload. Probably reload. It's not a very good stalemate for me, as we said in the last mission. So I always drag off the stalemate. And they've got good positions, and we're not hitting our sniper shots to get them out of them right now. Hopefully Jane will be fine because of the suppression, though. They should have... Oh, shit. Yo, yo, kill him! Yo, Overwatch, kill him! Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. At least Jano can't be, like, chain panicked here by the mind phrase, like, because Jano's already panicked, but we've got to get Jano out of there. Because they can be chain mind frayed at 100%, as you're seeing. But it's gonna shoot. Good. Unpanic, motherfucker. God damn. God damn, motherfucker. Yeah, this ain't working. This ain't working at all. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't. Can you shoot from here? No. It's awkward here. I can come to here and shoot the one at the back. Come here. Shoot that one. Oh. 
<laughs> Gotta overwatch is open from pushing me. And smoking to stop them from fucking dying, I guess. It's not good though. We're not in a good position. I think they might just get chain mind frayed to death this turn of the extras. They really needed to unpanic this turn, but they didn't. And on one sense, Danfall is not doing a lot by just overwatching over and over, but in the other sense, Danfall is stopping them from moving up. Which is important for its own reason. Maybe instead of smoke, I just need to like step here and shoot some of them. I can't see them from here, never mind. It's not good. I feel like you're just gonna get mind free to death. It might even be bad to to take away your 20% because if I take away your 20% completely, you just mind fray. Hmm. Only other thing I can really do is just like rush and smoke, but you are the one who would take advantage of that. Well, no, because actually, you would go here and then the LMG would get a kill, and it kind of changes things up. You can only get me from, you can only get me on flank from one position here, I think. It might be an unforced error, though, in the sense that it, like, maybe they can get me from here too as well, actually, yeah. And then two of them shoot me from here. If this had a flank, it'd be different, but it won't. If I had one more tile, perhaps. Everything I could do is move to here and smoke, but I don't think I can get the smoke that far. Oh yeah, no, I can. Is there another sector here still? No, they're gone. So what that would do is it would it would put the cat among the pigeons, so to speak. It would make this one run, and I could kill them. I think something really ballsy is needed here because otherwise Jando is very fucked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They shouldn't push him in the smoke. They shouldn't be that ballsy. Especially if I go here. They shouldn't want to go here. I guess they could run in that position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could go to here. Actually, can I get the smoke that far? No. If I get the smoke that far, that'd be amazing. That's actually like a cool position to do it on, though you might pull more shit. Go do something to Jane Doe's dead, so I think what I'm gonna do is... Come to here, try and get the smoke on the corner. If I possibly can, because if I can, that's sick. And then run to that corner, be smoked in half cover. Have not one, but two of them exposed on the flank. And everything's sick. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Okay, so what's your will? Oh, 12. It's also really bad. You might also just get mind afraid doing this. But I think it probably works out better than any other option. So yeah, you come to here. Now I think you can get that smoke. Because it's... 3... 5... Hang on. Oh, you can't move there. I'm like dumb as a brick. I actually can't move there. Okay, so never mind. It's just you gotta go to here and it's three, five, seven, seven. As long as elevation smoke works. You're right, it wouldn't have been a step out anyway. Yeah, you're also right. It was There was no real point to that position. Smoke should work down this half tile, I think. If not, I'll probably just TTC back because that's fucked. I don't know. We'll see. One, two, three. Just throw the fucking grenade. Three, five, seven, seven. So the smoke wants to be here. This is a high pressure grenade. Three, five, seven, seven. Two tiles up. Two tiles from this box. Oi, fuck off. Okay, three, five, seven, seven. Right here. Three, five, seven, seven. Smoke. 
smoke's up. Hopefully there's not a lot of Overwatch out there right now. I didn't really account for that in my plan. Too late, we're going. I mean, that smoke looks good to me. Moving out. Am I wasting a great soldier here, or will this be the it move needed? Out. Oh, shit! You fucking drones! No Overwatch, though, so that's good. And I am smoke, so that's also good. Now hit your LMG shot. More sexies are coming, this is not good. Yeah, they want me. Ow. I'm starting to think this was a bad move. Oh, what gave you that idea, Beagle? I don't know, the, the fucking, yeah, the shit. The shit that's happening to me right now. I'm starting to think I shouldn't have done this. I'm starting to think I traded one person in danger for someone else in worse danger who was more useful to my squad. Oh, fuck. And the activations. I wasn't expecting the double activations from it either. I think I just fucked the mission. By trying to save Jane Doe. Wow, that, that went terribly. That was a terrible move. Uh, I did the numbers, but man, am I bad at math. Oh god, and on god, you're just gonna do that? Not the Danfall, interesting. Get the fuck out of there, get the fuck out of there. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck. See, you tried to save one life and do everyone good job. That's generally how I do it, yeah. And the fucking gunner misses after all that. Alright, this is a terrible choice. I made a terrible choice. They're trying to flank us! I'm very sorry, Jake Sullivan. I made a terrible choice. Need to find some new Pull back! So my, there's some of my clutchest soldier too, the rapid reactor. Who could have potentially clutched the mission after everything else goes wrong. It was calculated but it was wrong it was badly calculated can i even get out no i can't everything is fucked now everything is fucked now oh how often when you're playing a game like this do you ever wish you could just go back in time like two minutes and be like yep yeah, that i see now terrible risk don't do that yep this was terrible if i could choose between danfall or jane Doe dying i would have gone back to danfall dying i mean jane jane Doe dying Okay, well, this is terrible. Um, there's no real way out of it for you either. Who's even- the one suppression you we can't even get. How terrible. And the mind freeze stops you from getting out of there. Uh, we do have smoke back here, maybe, if I could get you free of the suppression. It's not that day, is it? Dash and smoke? No, it doesn't work. Smoke doesn't save you from reaction fire. Everything is fucked. Ah, fuck! I need my Overwatch soldiers, and I'm throwing one to the goddamn wolves right now. That was just let me run it. You want to just run it? If I die, die. Well, that's a healthy attitude to have. You know, until you die, then it's not, but... Okay, so we're gonna try to get back to here. Get the fucking drones. Shoot, I guess, the closest one we got. Ah, Feeling walk. Ain't got paramedic. No paramedic. Oh, damn, man. What a bad move that was in hindsight. Keep on 
shoot from there. Can you even shoot that one that's low health there? Nope. Fucking trouble. Gotta get ready to, to basically get ready to retreat at this point almost. Jake says, Remember when Beagle said drones in this map wouldn't be so bad because there are no flanks? I said drones wouldn't be so bad in the sense of I wouldn't get hit by 12 of them at once. Unfortunately, in this situation, 3 is enough. But yes, also not showing up my flank, yes. Unfortunately, this is just, everything is bad. There is like a Hail Mary here of like, trying to shoot the suppressing one, but then I think the drones get you. Which is equally, well not equally, but it is also bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can't quite flank me here, which is good. What do you do? I mean, do you just start shooting? What do we do here? You, you kind of need to take shots or just get rid of the evac. That looks like it's in smoke. Shoot Overwatch? Shoot Overwatch? Like, what's the play here? Just gonna shoot you. And probably just gonna shoot you. I think we have to see what happens with you first. I think we're gonna try and run it. 66%! Penny? 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 Penny! Run! Goodness, yes, run! Don't get suppressed. Fabulous. That is smoke. That's in smoke. You're probably still fucked, but hey, I mean... You're not fucked immediately, so that's cool. Maybe just shoot and then overwatch at the other one. New due donation from Glip Gloop. Oh, a penny. <laughs> Oh, I bet me. They were punished. No, I'm about to be punished. I'm going to lose this mission, I think. I kind of want to shoot the drones more than the sectoids. Because I feel like they're the bigger problem. I also know I can't really kill the drones as I roll max, but it's kind of the same for the sectoids, too. In the end. Do that, and then do Overwatch. It's incredibly unlikely. Danfall lives through this either way, but if they do, you know, we can maybe win the mission. So, you know, it, it's the nail biter here. I, I really don't. It's kind of not a nail biter though, because I think they're just fucked, but we'll see. I think they're just gonna get side panicked in place even if they live through shots. But you know, stranger things have happened. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, ah! Okay, Bungle's just dead. Okay, but stop panicking now, though. No! 89% side panic. You're fucked. No, don't do it! Fuck you! Not again! Fuck! They earned that! Damn it! Help! Help! Someone help! Just a few... Uh, we're done. God damn it! Yeah, you don't have to tell me what I did wrong. I already know what I did wrong. Kobayashi Maru. Though, also... Damn it! Bit of Kobayashi Maru. Also just like... 
the squad just couldn't handle the stalemate we got into, unfortunately. Brought a shooting squad. And it's sad, because I just kind of, like, couldn't handle four sectoids in the end. We grenaded all the other ones. But I just couldn't handle four sectoids in the end. I was just getting killed by four sectoids, because they just start the mind fray train on one soldier. But moving forward... Well, the other three came up as well. But moving forward was, was wiping this mission. I could have won with one dead rookie, but instead I turned this into a, a lost wipe. And I just can't be allowed to do that. It's my bad. I ruined the, the mission. I'm sorry. My fault. Um, all you can do is shoot. All you can do at this point is shoot. Campaign 4. I don't want to do a campaign 4. I want to do this one, but... Uh, why are you apologizing? Because it's like obviously bad play in hindsight, what I did. It's like vanilla long war play. It's not kitchen nightmares play. So I apologize. It was like a very unnecessary error to make. Would you consider reducing kitchen limit? No, it's fine. I, I would consider getting better at the game. I am not considering making the game easier in any way because of losing. Just as like a boilerplate response for everyone. I am considering getting good. Luckily the drones aren't going to flank me there, which is nice. Pretty entertaining error to make. Well, if you think so, yo-yo semi. Oh, damn, Fall, you're such a good soldier to have. Rapid reaction is just such a good thing to have. Okay, you just, again, you just gotta shoot, you just gotta shoot, all you can do is shoot. Like, start hitting shots today. Okay, well. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, you could also just do that. the whole time too. So the LMG already fired. Doesn't matter, they missed. I think I should have brought an engineer with a shotgun or something instead because I, I think the idea of getting the plus one health is good and a good idea for the rest of the campaign where you need those boosts but I think not having shotguns against drones at this pit bit here is fucked. You're relying on 50%. To hit and they're just not hitting and so you're gonna lose the mission you, you can't run a war on coin flips because you will have missions where you just lose and we did whittle down the sectoids to a manageable number which is why i was so happy with my grenades early but then they got the reinforcements and now we're fucked i think no even more if you hit this shot good No. Yes. No. 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 Go away. But yeah, I, I fucked it. I super fucked it with that move. That's why I'm so upset about that move. I super fucked it. It was just a classic go forward and XCOM and activate shit move as well, but I just fucked it as soon as I went out there. Ah, so annoying. I don't even know if I want to like... I want to reroll every campaign, but to, like, do you play on after you just like evac a mission in March? It just seems like to fuck your economy. I don't know. Mm. Okay, I, I still got to shoot the drones. That's still the problem. Yeah, I feel like if you evac in March, you're fucked for the campaign. Yeah, like. <sighs> I, it kind of sucks if you get raffle and you weren't on the mission that wipe, but also, like, I think you're just kind of fucked if you... 
I think if you just wipe a mission or evac a mission in March, you just have to reroll the campaign. Probably. So I'm not going to try to evac. Probably just going to play to the bitter end. Ugh, today it wasn't I wasn't scared of them. Today it was I'm scared of them and I still died though. Just, ah, oh man. Just this midpoint here, the terrain, and I just fucked it with that. But just this midpoint, I felt too pressured. Couldn't get the sectors out of there. I think I just need to bring more grenades, perhaps. Need to bring, like, engineers. And then the engineers can bring shotguns, and then both your problems are solved. You have the grenades for sectoid spam, and you have the shotguns for drones pushing you. So I need, like, more support classes, and I need more engineers. I just need to, like, take engineers on every mission, I think. If I still want to do the Spessas thing, which I think I do. Jane is dead. You're panicking. I'm using cover. They don't need it, buddy. Quarter says the extra med kits thinking you can heal is like a mistake because if you're healing, you're not killing. I mean, it's different based on mission, too. Like, when you change your tactics and don't take one thing anymore, then you can die to the thing you didn't bring the thing for. But that's why I think engineers might be the thing to focus on much, much harder because they can do two things at once. One soldier slot can then deal with two problems. Like, if we have two engineers instead, we have grenades and just keep killing the sectoids and we're fine. I think going for, like, the shoot com kind of, like, sniper and LMG squad here, too, isn't... is a bit wishful thinking of getting this spawn. Like, it kind of works here if you can control this side. But I think right from the get-go... <laughs> I think right from the get-go, um, they had too much cover here and the idea didn't work. I needed like a Rocketeer to blow that shit up for that to be a killing field. Alright, well I don't think you two are gonna kill him, but feel free to try. Use grenades instead. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of could get an HE there possibly. A little bit far for grenades, it's a little bit awkward. A rocketeer would have been good there. How long does it take to get spent? Now it's the first satellite. So if you start building the satellite immediately, you're fine. Uh, you can get it pretty early. So you want to build like an immediate satellite on day one. Bro, there's so many of them. It's like battle bovers. Come on. Take your turns. Wait, you're putting your first satellite over Russia Rip Air Game? Yeah, that's its own thing, but... Well, you can't make it out of here. But you can't really do anything else. You just gotta, like, run and smoke. What let the first one get so much farther than all the subsequent ones? Luck, I think. I think it's just luck will be more noticeable with runs like this, where you can just kind of like luck your way through stuff. I think people will say the Kirikai, but I don't think the Kirikai was that impactful in mission in campaign one, which is why I didn't go Kirikai again. I think we just got really lucky on, on campaign one, and it was like a lot easier to get through. Hurry to fuck up, sectoids. What well, the customers are better at cooking counters. I don't know, like, the, the reason this one uh, sucks for me is because we had this so easy, because we had them down to four sectoids, which is just like fighting a normal sectoid pod. Um, the only thing you can say for the kitchen gimmick at that point is it exhausted all our grenades. We didn't have any left, but still. You know, that was just like fighting a normal number of sectoids at that point. It's just that sectoids are so scary in, in March. I think maybe I was like trying to bring like two Rocketeers on every mission in the first campaign too, which I might just have to do again. 
I think these campaigns I've tried to be like, no, I could probably handle it without like doing everyone because I'm trying to like get good rookies built up. But uh, I think instead of gunners, maybe I'm just gonna like bring like all rocketeers. Make sure I can't just I think I want to try this one again. I think I want to try France again. I just like play better. Like I think the position this mission was very winnable. All these missions are very winnable. It's just that I fuck them up. I need to not fuck them up. Because we know how fucked it gets later in the campaign. On the campaign where we did sacrifice early game benefits. Sorry, yeah. The campaign where we did sacrifice late game power to get early game benefits. We got to late game, but then we got slaughtered by discs. And that's why I think we need to figure out how to get through March. Winning missions without spamming like nothing but Rocketeers. So we can set up better for late game. But, you know, not dying. Yeah, but I'm still on. Sorry, Rusty. Ah, we were doing good today too. I even thought the earlier mission would be the white, but then we pulled it back. Ah, oh, so annoying. Because I really didn't need to make that happen. Equipment somehow, so this doesn't happen again. Remember, we will be watching. Jane Doe would have been like 90% dead, but at least. We might be able to do something. The reason I pushed forward wasn't just to save Jando, though. It was also because... Oh god. Yeah. Another reason not to fail capacity. abductions in March. Additional um... Required. It was half because I wanted to save Jando, but it wasn't totally trying to do, like, the uh, Kobayashi Maru. It wasn't totally being a sweetheart for Jando. It was also, I saw the position I was in, and I was like... Okay, this isn't getting any better. Like, the Sectoids have good cover. I'm not hitting my shots. They're just gonna, like, mind fray Jano down, and they're gonna mind fray the next person down. And I really didn't see myself getting through it. Because they got to the full cover, so they had, like, we had 26% of them on the truck. I was like, okay, you know, we're, we're kind of fucked here. We need to do something. Unfortunately, the thing I did pulled two pods. Uh, I wasn't seeing that coming at all. I didn't even consider the possibility that that, that move would pull from the low ground. It sure fucking did, and that, and that that finished us off. Which is a shame. But, um... You need to back off. Yeah, but you can't make them back off there. That's why you need the grenades. That map in particular, that section, that's a classic, like, grenade over the truck section of a mission. Because you don't have a lot of other good options. Um, you can't get flanked, but also you can't really flank them. It's a real no-man's land. We play that mission a lot, that map a lot, and we do the same thing every time. We just kind of, like, play the no-man's land. And that's why I thought the LMG gunner and the sniper would end up being good, or at least okay. I think the problem is, though, you don't have a lot of time for that to work there because they're just going to mind free someone down. And if they mind free someone down, right, they can kill them in like two to three turns, just all focusing their mind freeze. So I think that's why we needed the engineers in hindsight, because we needed to be able to have double the number of grenades we had. We needed to have like... But you don't, you just don't have that many troops in there in March is the problem as well. You just, I don't have that option. Like, I had one support I could have taken. You could have been an engineer on the mission. I decided I didn't need you. So, you know, hubris. And then that's it. I don't have another one, you know. That's the problem. And that's, that's the balancing act of these missions is it's easy in hindsight to go, Oh, that was the fucked mission. I should have taken more specialists. But then, but then, you know, the next mission has less specialists because you use them all. That's the tough thing about March. You're trying to get enough specialists built while at the same time not wiping a mission. And any death you take on these missions is less specialists as well. Swift says, I think you're nuts for turning off strict screening about turning on Commander's Choice. Eh. I think it's just part of the fun of training roulette. But, um... If you have a shiv, you have a mind framing soldier, which may or may not help. Yes! Those shivs also can't take cover. So without smoke, they're just going to get killed instead. Um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. The shiv there, maybe? Like, you can go and flank with them for a turn, but they get murdered by all the other fuckers. Um... I, th I think I just gotta stop doing that kind of build of, like, a gunner and a sniper. That said, it worked out on the farm, but should it have worked out on the farm last weekend? I don't know. That wasn't a gunner and a sniper either. That was a sniper and shotgunners. And that was an important difference, because the shotgunners did do good work there. Uh, or, you know, just holding there, I guess, in the end. But, like, they couldn't push us because of the shotgunners as well. Restart a run? Yeah, I think we're gonna restart. I think we're gonna restart tomorrow. 
So it says, I don't know how much XP you can afford to go to a Shiva anyway in a campaign like this, because the real soldiers need to level. Yeah, and that's the other thing too, is if you take a Shiv on a mission, this has always been the problem with Shivs, is if you take Shivs on a mission, nobody else, that, that's a soldier who isn't leveling, and now you have less soldiers anyway. So it's like a soldier dies every mission that you bring a Shiv in March. Hmm. It's annoying. It's annoying because I, I, I torpedoed that mission. I gotta... I gotta, I gotta, I gotta bring more grenades, and just like grenade and rocket brute force through these missions, I think. Steady the rockets, don't fire unsteadied rockets for, for next time. And... Bring, 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 bring... Bring those engineers with grenades, I think. Because then you can bring engineers with grenades and shotguns. And I think if you have a rocketeer that you're steadying the rockets on every mission, and you have an engineer with... a shotgun, and then like full grenades every mission, whether it's 2 APs and 2 HEs or 4 HP APs, and then the other rookies also bring lots of grenades. That's probably the way we get through March. Because the shotgun and the rocketeer can kill the drones. And the shotgun can also scare drones off because of an exploit in their AI. And then the grenades are just there to fucking kill sectoids. And you really need that. You really need to be able to just go, fuck you sectoids. Because otherwise, as you can see, it's happened to us a bunch of times now. They will just steamroll. They, they pick up speed. And as soon as they start landing mine phrase, you're so fucked. Because every mind fray that lands is less will, and then they just get you to 100% mind fray, and there's nothing you can do at that point. Because not only is it killing you, it's debuffing you, it's panicking you, there's nothing you can do. Um, and obviously that mission can go completely different. That mission can just go, oh, the sniper hits all their, their, their 40% and we win. Um, but I, that, that is the problem, is you don't have infinite time with these sectoids. You don't. It, it will work. And I, I'm sure I could just restart enough campaigns that eventually we get through all four or five missions of March and that works. That's not unbe unbelievable. But you're really just betting on good luck. That's just basically going, I'm going to do something and I'm going to hope I get good rolls five missions in a row, basically, enough that I don't wipe. And that's probably going to take a few more resets to get through March. Not even speaking about April. Um, so... Yeah, I think that's why... We need to change tactics up for tomorrow. Hayden says, honestly, at this point, not taking CC is just reducing the success rate. CC? What do you mean? Go on this choice. Okay. Again, I'm not making it any easier right now. I have no interest in that. I think it's fun. It's frustrating. In a good way. Like, it's frustrating. It's not frustrating like, Oh, I'm so mad! I'm gonna have, go have sex with my girlfriend, I'm so mad. Like, I'm not, like, mad. It's frustrating in the sense of, like, oh, I could have done better. I, I, I've let myself down. I could have played better. That's good. It means that there's room for improvement. Love to see that. I'm, I'm happy. I, I, it's good to have a challenge. So, you know. End of the day, I'm gonna make a move up command where, for tomorrow, where, where anyone suggests nerfing this because I lose, uh, the, the bot is gonna mock you. I think that's what I have to do for tomorrow. Because otherwise, yeah, I think almost and upwards. Try again tomorrow, and try to be better. Keep going until I have become strong enough. Um, and it'll be good, because another reason that we want to figure out how to beat this in March rather than just doing the same bad shit but hoping for good luck, is that this campaign is very losable all the way through because of how hard it is. So... We need to get a consistent way to get through March, or as close as we can get to it, highest possible odds to get through March, so that future campaign restarts when we lose the discs again are quicker and better. So that's why I think we're iterating now in a good way. Every time I lose a campaign, I'm like, okay, I can see how I should adapt my tactics for next time. And that's good. That means we're evolving. So that's good. But for now, I'm done, I think. Because it's, you know, stream end time. So, GG. You still want to see the class soldier at work? I know, this is like the greatest loss of this campaign. Is not getting to see Rackshale. I know, you were going to be like the world's greatest soldier. But it's not enough to live through your missions, folks. You have to be, roll, get rolled into the campaign that wins, too. We just skip 24 days to see if it works. Yeah, but I don't want to. Alright. GG. Thank you to my subby dubbies. Thank you to Noob299 for 71 months sub. The Fuzz Damn You, 11 months sub. Shenanigai, 31 months. Cool Goats, 45 months. Bad Luddite, 31 months sub. Maxi gives it the 10 gift subs. Thank you so very much. 10 gift subs. Maxi. Maxi C, appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. 
very, very kind. Yamsis for the 81 month sub. Starbright Forever, Raid of the Party of Nine, thank you. Vanguard Master, 32 month sub. Gundam Man, 42 months. Sad Elemental, 61 months. Remember, everything that just happened was for the VOD Watchers. It was all for them. Don't forget, that mission was for you, VOD Watchers. Um, thanks to my Kofis. And thanks to my Orders of the Day. You win again, customers. But one of these days, I keep telling you, one of these days I'm going to keep playing it, and you're not going to be able to stop me. I'm training. This is training, and eventually you're going to be crying when you say, no, he's got too good. We can't stop him anymore. Fan art? What's the fan art? What is, what is that? Oh my god, it's a shiv with legs. No. Hang on. <laughs> We're gonna pull these up from Philip. I was gonna pull up from uh, from Sammy Posty on Flame Bunny's behalf. Hang on. Uh, Flame Bunny made this. This is really good. This is for the Rats Foxhole Regiment, Combat Logistics Regiment. If you want to play Foxhole, you should want to play it more now because of this picture. I don't because I fucking hate Foxhole. But if you were susceptible to playing Foxhole, this art might convince you of their little Combat Logistics Combat Rats lo logo. Flame Bunny is always doing amazing work. Uh, and then we get these from Philip. <laughs> it's a fucking ship with legs. Still got the treads too. Is that their face down there looking at me? Who knows? And then this is also from Philip. <laughs> I might add this to the, the loading screen. This is really... <laughs> this is really good. I wish that's what happened. That's what I thought in my head would happen. And then it didn't, unfortunately. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be blessed of a rapid reaction soldier again. It's like Jake Solomon is like blessing me with like beautiful, like immediate rapid reaction. And I spit on it by playing badly like a fucking idiot. It's okay. I'm always getting slightly smarter, hopefully. Fantastic fan art. Thank you very much. Alts in discussion. What's the alt? What's this? <laughs> no! I didn't even take that many soldiers on the mission! Shit. Alright, we're doing a raid. Uh, Mom was playing Armor. Arvius is in Age of Darkness. X is playing Lethal Company again. Uh, Euchre is playing Bloodborne. Let's do Arvius, my dear friend Arvius. Alright. See you for another campaign tomorrow. It's campaign four tomorrow. They're coming thick and fast right now. Hope you had fun today, everyone. And I do mean that. Uh, have a lovely one. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Thanks for making it fun. Catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a good one.